So you began looking into buying a Domino, but then this happened. Oh man, this thing is like magic. It has so many cool features. Add to cart. Wait, how much is that? What? The f Now don't get me wrong. I know the Domino has its place, okay? For commercial businesses, for people who are rich, I know, it has its place, I know. I know! Okay, but for the mere mortals, like me, this. This is a Tian Li jig. It turns your router into basically a domino. It comes in a fraction of the price of the domino at 200 bucks plus shipping. $200 versus like $1,200, okay? 200 bucks, a fraction. And I think it can do about 80% of what the domino can do. And I have examples laid out, and we're gonna go through all of them and find out ourselves. Okay, situation number one. Pretty common one. You got two boards, plan on doing a panel glue up. You wanna keep them flat on top as much as you can. So you add in the dominoes to keep them perfectly level. Now, this thing has three adjustments on it. It's got this height adjustment here. We've got this depth adjustment here. And last, we have this width adjustment right here. Now the width one is pretty cool. You can just turn one knob and it expands and contracts. For the panel test, we're gonna be using these five millimeter dominoes. We will adjust this for the width of these. We'll be using our five millimeter router bit. We just set it so that the domino is somewhere in the middle of the board. These line up really well. But this was really easy. Let's move on to a more difficult one. I can picture for a miter. Now, this one gets tricky for one kind of flaw with the jig, and that is that the face frame is pretty wide. With smaller boards, you don't get a lot of support. Let me show you. Now because this front face has this wide opening that's wider than our piece, we don't have anything to reference on. So my solution is to take a similar angled piece, clamp it down, butt it up, and that'll act as a wider surface. Now we had to fiddick with it a little bit with the clamping tricks, but it turned out and it's really strong, came out really good. So now we move on to the next one, which is just a simple butt joint with some plywood. For this one, we are going to up our domino size to an eight millimeter. Now with this, since I'm using the beefier dominoes, this is only three quarter, these are longer. So I'm only gonna go about a third of the domino on the base, and then on the vertical partition, I'll go two thirds. So I adjusted my height accordingly, so that these go in here like that. And then on my next piece, I'll cut a longer mortise.
Okay, as you can tell, these line up really well. And they're pretty beefy dominoes, so that adds a bunch of strength to this joint. If you ever wanted to do a really strong butt joint without any screws, done. Now we move on to this one. So you're making a cabinet and it's got a middle divider. You wanna go smack down in the middle, another butt joint. Now this one is a little bit tricky because of the way the fence is on the jig, but I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so super easy. All we're doing is using our original piece to offset the length of this red fence right here. So I drew a center line and now I'm going to double side tape my first piece to offset this. Oh yeah, I also made a center mark on the red piece that way I can line it up with my lines. You also want to take this handle, flip it around. Now, we've successfully joined these two boards together. Wasn't that big of a deal. Just had to come down a little bit, put a stop, and then we were good to go. They are like perfectly smooth on the edges. I'm gonna call that a success. This one is gonna be pretty difficult. We'll be doing a miter bevel. So you're trying to make a box with uh, edges that flow all the way down and around and you want to come together like this. But you want to reinforce them with some dominoes. So what makes this challenging is my jig does not have an adjustable fence. It's stuck at 90 degrees. So we're gonna to have to figure out another way to make this 45 degree cut. So here's the trick on this one. I have a nice fat piece of wood that I cut a 45 out. So I have my piece that's cut and then behind it is another 45. Now together, that acts as a 90. So when I do this, I have something to reference my top fence on. Okay, so I did mess up on that one. I ended up mortising too deep. So there's that. Uh, I did redo it to show you guys. So I have this one. Same five millimeter dominoes. It's got four holes in it. And this one comes together real nice. Nice and tight, just like that, see? So possible. Uh, tricky, a little annoying, but possible. Now, most importantly, I know what you're thinking. Aaron, what about Jason from Bourbon Moss patented hip thrust domino technique? What about that? Can we still use it? And the answer is yes, of course. Of course I'm not gonna recommend a jig that you cannot use that perfect technique with, but what I'm gonna do is upgrade your technique. See, with this new technique, you are not only gaining the muscle memory for an aggressive hip thrust, with this one, it is gonna be a delicate balance of a forward and side to side motion, really working the hips. Here. Let me show you. Now you really want to be secure. So you have both of your hands. Forward, side, side. She said, look, ma, no hands.
So all those scenarios cover like 90% of what you're gonna be able to do with the Domino. And I showed you how to do it with this $200 jig. Some of them are more of a headache and can be way easier with the Domino, but they're still doable with this thing. Okay, now hear me out for a second, because this is where everything gets really interesting. So with the Domino, you have two options. You can either buy the 500 or the 700, I believe. The difference between the two is how big of a mortise they can cut. So the 500 can only cut up to 28 millimeters deep. So you times that by two and you're at like 56 millimeters. This is 40, this is 80. So the 500, which is the one that costs $1,200, is not capable of cutting something this long. Also, neither one cut a mortise this wide. Even the $700 Domino won't cut a mortise this wide. This is a custom made mortise. It is eight millimeters thick, 45 millimeters wide, and 80 millimeters tall. I believe that the Tian Li jig can cut this, which is pretty impressive. I also think that if I got a different bit that is potentially longer, I would be able to cut longer mortises. So we have the five millimeter, the eight, also the eight, but wider and longer. Now another catch. So you're like, okay, I'll just buy the bigger Domino, the one that's $1,600. Okay, cool. But the $1,600 Domino does not go down to five millimeter. Now this small Domino is super useful. I don't think I could have cut the bevel on a three quarter inch piece of plywood, the bevel dominoes with an eight. I've already looked, I don't think it's possible. You need the skinny one. And the skinny one is really good for panel glue ups. So there's a lot of circumstances where you actually want the really small one. But then there's circumstances where you want the really big one. To me, the Tian Li meets perfectly in the middle between the two. So you can cut the small ones and you can cut custom size mortises that are thick and long and should handle anything. There's gonna be times when I want this and there's gonna be times when I want this. So if I wanna replace that with a domino, I'm gonna to have to replace it with both dominoes. That's almost $3,000. $3,000 versus this $200 jig. So if you're like me and you don't even have a joiner yet, this is another option. You're welcome. Also, definitely not sponsored. I will be putting the link to where I bought it from in the description, but not sponsored. Uh, I'll just try to help a brother out. Bye-bye.